Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, hello and welcome back to Battletech. I'm Computer, and last episode, our motley crew of mercenaries realized that, uh, they're kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel when it comes to missions right now. And in fact, we got betrayed on an MRB-backed contract. That's not something that should ever happen. The MRB, the Mercenary Review Board, that's Comstar. And missions that are backed by them, they're supposed to be like ironclad contracts. And if you break that contract, if you're the mercenary, then you are now branded as a pirate. And if you're the contractor, or the employer, I should say, and you break your contract, you don't exist as a company anymore. So, yeah, we're uh, kind of out in the dark now. And so we've decided that uh, maybe if we go even deeper and simply take missions that aren't backed by the MRB, we might survive. Maybe. It seems kind of not the best idea to me, but uh, oh well. So we have a contract. Oh no. These are mercenaries. Never mind. Excuse me. Contracts. Here we go. Hello. Yes. Ordnance Depot Capture. We get 221,000 credits for it, which is a nice boon, to be honest. Come on. I just wanted to highlight that. Max Salvage, 2 of 11. And I wonder what this is. Travel to another system included. Nice. Travel costs included. Very good. We've been tracking the movements of several pirate convoys, and that's allowed us to pinpoint their destination, a hidden, well-defended ordnance depot. This facility is a key supplier of local pirate forces, and taking it from them will significantly damage their efforts against us. We'd like you to drop in, take the depot, and hold out against enemy uh, reinforcements. Any enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds basically... Capture and hold, yeah. Capture and defend. This should be straightforward. Move up, recon the depot, and then occupy it. Once we secure the area, the Magistracy of Canopus will send their people to loot the place. Yeah, that sounds... All right. The money is more or less good. Max reputation plus three. I... And this is, I guess, the difficulty. Yes, difficulty rating. A contract's difficulty rating indicates Darius's best guess at the overall difficulty of the contract, based on available intel and detail. The details, plural, provided by the employer. The higher the difficulty rating of the contract, the more drop tonnage is recommended. Yeah, I, I'm guessing we want uh, all assaults for the five star or five. Atlas skulls. Capture base. Yeah. Negotiate. Oh. Amalia Cortez, the Magistracy of Canopus. I slurred that. Sorry. Commander, I hope you are all in good health. This contract may interest you. It fits your skills and the strength of your company. With any luck, we'll both get what we want out of this job. Oh. Oh, wow, you can go zero. Oh, wow, that would be not the best idea. Hold on. Can we hover over this to get... Uh... No. Oh, no, that, there we go. The first value, priority salvage. It's the number of items you may choose from all the available loot on the battlefield. The second value is the total number of items you'll receive, with the remainder chosen at random... Be aware that if you destroy enemy mech chassis and equipment, those destroyed items will no longer be available as salvage. That makes sense. And contract payment. The payment for a contract is based on the difficulty of the mission and your reputation with the employer. Some contracts have additional objectives that can be completed during the mission for additional pay. So we get to choose two and then 11 gets chosen for us randomly or we can go completely oh that's the same number oh so in mech 5 this would be in addition to the normal 
Okay. You know, let's go with this, I think. No. Or we can go like that, one, five, and then go for a, we, we, Let's try out the mechanics of it, I think. Five random, we get to choose one, and then we get 171,000. Yeah. By your command. Oh, nice. Oh, right, yes. I uh, should probably have... I should probably have made sure all of the repairs were done. Uh, the crew is ready for the next job. Oh, very nice. Oh, we're here. Is this just an image, or is it moving? Can't really tell. Um, I could just go there. I think it's definitely not just an image. Got it. That's a nice jump animation. Beautiful game, honestly. Shakedown, you're on the Leopard's Bridge with Sumire, uh, Sumire, Yang, and Darius for the daily staff briefing. Darius says, we received three messages from the banks. Loan sharks, Sumire cuts in, from the people who are financing us. Darius continues, they're considering rewriting the terms of our loan, so it will be easier to seize this ship if we miss a payment. As usual, they're only doing this because they believe we can't fight it in court. They're considering it. Sweet talk the banks, ignore the message, educate the banks on their mistake. Um... That's a tricky one. Um, ignoring the message is probably not the best idea because then they'll just figure, oh, they weren't paying attention, let's do it. Sweet talking the banks only works if you are in a position of power, I feel like. Educate the banks on their mistake. Well, let's, uh, hmm. No, let's try sweet talking. It might work. Oh, I'll talk to them, you say, and the meeting moves on. Afterwards, you record a response. In it, you explain with much gravitas that you selected each of the banks for their prestige and reliability. You remind them of your impeccable payment history. You conclude, well, then they'll just say, oh, then it's no problem if we do this. Because you will always pay, of course, right? Wink, wink. Um, you conclude by expressing your desire for a long and fruitful financial relationship with them, hinting that you might seek additional loans when, you current, when your current ones are paid in full. A few days later, the bank contacts you, say their previous message were sent in error and should be ignored. Well, that worked. Uh, your company has gained the following tags. Loan status fair. Can we hover over that? Yes, we can. The company's credit is currently rated as fair by the banks financial, uh, financing the, the Leopard, which should at least de deter them from sending bounty hunters after you. I'm paying the loans, though, so far. Honestly, wait, am I paying the loans? Uh, finances. Thank you. Uh, estimated monthly total is 130,000. Estimated monthly total for our mix is 108.5 thousand. Yeah, we can survive a little bit longer. Still, I'd rather get... Can you get rid of this, though? Can you actually pay off your entire loan? I wonder if there's a way to see that or not. Anyway, um, three days to travel to Bellerophon. That's nice. 
We've arrived at Bellerophon, Commander. Ready to proceed with your... Yes, we shall proceed. Oh, wow, this is a lot. Um, we have a Shadowhawk, we have a Blackjack, we have a Vindicator. No. Vindicator. And we have a Spider and a Locust. Let's go with the Shadowhawk. Oh, right, that goes there. Uh... Blackjack there, Vindicator, I'd like a bigger mech soon. 55, 45, 45, 30, yeah. A full set of 50s would be nice. Anyway, we also have pilots or mech warriors. They actually call them mech warriors in this game. In mech 5, they're all called pilots. Ah, that's a breath of fresh air. Behemoth, you are tanky. I'm going to put you in the Shadowhawk in that case. And then we have Calm, who can actually double shoot at two things at the same time. Wait, what do you have? Oh, wait, I can just click on it. Yeah, there we go. Um, SRM2s, LRM5s, AC5, and nothing else. And you have AC2s and medium lasers. A lot of them, though. So calm goes into the blackjack. Oh, that's that's my blackjack. Never mind. Then we have Vindicator with medium laser, PPC, small laser, LRM5. Uh glitch. And then the spider with the jump jets and two medium lasers. Yeah, just keep moving. Just keep moving. Oh, you don't have any skills. Good thing you're not coming with us, then. Oh, right, yes, I talked about it last episode, uh, about how in one of the UIs it looked like each lance had five mechs, but that's like clan procedure or policy. And here it was just four, so it's good. I think, maybe, good. We'll see. This should be straightforward. Move up, recon the depot, and then occupy it. Once we secure the area, the magistracy will send in their people to loot the place. Yeah, I've already read that, actually. And that, so let's just go. Command interface initiated. Commander, I'm not p picking up any active hostiles anywhere. This place should be... looks deserted. Let's move up and recon the facility. Yeah, looks can be deceiving. Once we know what we're dealing with, we can move in and occupy the depot. Uh, go over there. Location confirmed. Stay inside uh -huh. cover. Out. Wait, is this the depot? No, that's the depot. Probably. Yes. What the hell? There's no garrison. Wait, we're getting something. Commander, it looks like the garrison was on patrol and they're on their way back. Get ready for multiple contacts. From where? I would like like a minimap. But I, I suppose that would be cheating. Behemoth, um, move forward. Coordinates received. On my way. It would be kind of unfortunate if. The trees fell down, like in Mech 5 as well. Um... Coordinates received. <clears throat> Moving out! Where could they be coming from, though? There, maybe? No. Oh, right, you as well. I'm just gonna brace with you. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. There you are. 
And you are what? Unknown mech. The speed you moved. I'm gonna guess a medium. Receiving you. Decker. Uh, go over here and get eyes on them, I think. If you can. I don't know if elevation actually lets you see things. We shall have to see... Wait, you want to fire? No. Brace. Another... Yeah, that seems like another mech. Definitely not a light. Um, behemoth. Let's go like that. Can't see them yet, which is fine. Let's brace. I... Um, you should also... You can jump. Join Behemoth, please. Thank you. And, uh... Still can't see. Brace. Then we have Glitch. You, Commander. If only it was that easy to jump in Mech 5. Just saying. Enemy turn. Just a two mix? No, no, there's uh, a light as well, probably. Except then it would be on the front, so probably not. Decker. On it. Not really seeing yet. Sensor lock, right, yes, of course. That would be a useful thing. Uh, you. Yes, what are you? I've got a, a locust. Lock. I was completely wrong. It is a light mech. That's probably is as well, then. Hello. Entrenched. Well, we do have someone with LRMs, don't we? For you? Commando. Well, that's unfortunate for you. Because I will definitely fire um, 50%, 40%. Let's not. Okay, okay. Critical hit, Commander. That's your left arm gone. Good. Calm, though. You can shoot both of them. So let's do that. And 60... 80% on... Wait, oh, oh, 65, okay. Okay. All right. Let's go with that. 65% uh, across the board. Should be... F uh, well, not great. Good job. Next. Structure explosion. Yeah. Could have been worse. I hear ya. Uh, stand in front. Oh, wait. If this guy gets off shots it would be bad but with 75 on the ppc maybe we get lucky no we don't because if he shoots glitch and misses oh javelin with lrms or SRMs? Yeah, anyway, if they miss this one, they'll probably hit the other ones. Waiting for orders. 
Um, do I want to? Sure. On the move. Thirty. You know what? I'm just gonna sensor lock. Um, you. No, no. You. The other one can be seen quite easily. Cover. Dang it, that hurt. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's um. You're gonna go over here now. Got it. Payback. Now you can shoot both of them. Let's see, seventy-five, fifty-five. Wow, forty. It's a bad idea, but I'm gonna go with it. Here we go. Critical hit. Good. It's called payback. Waiting for orders. Um, kind of want to stand inside the trees, but there's no good. Oh wow, that's. Oh, I can just... Okay, good. I wanted this view, though. Uh, fine. Behemoth. Standing by. Just shoot. 65. And then remove the LRMs, maybe. Eh, could have been better. Um, 80, 70, 50, 60, okay. It's not great. Also, I only have 23 ammo. That's not great either. But maybe the medium lasers will do their job. Oh, you're inside cover. Never mind. I should have gone alpha. Hell yeah. You're backing that way? Oh. Please, no head injury. Good. Standing Decker. By. Affirmative. 75. 55. Got him. Could use... No, no. Let's not waste a call shot on two medium lasers. Nice. I think I hit something good. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. And he's about to pay back. Hey, 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 hey. That's ours. Soon. Good to go. Um, glitch. Commander? Destroy that. 35% on the PPC. 80... Well, there, and I'm going to do that as well, so it looks a little bit nicer. And then you go for B, and you go for B, and then we fire. Roger that. You have no arms now. Mm. Calm, though. You... I'm just going to do a call shot on the head. Could have gone better. No. Knock down. Good. 
And that means I can do a cold shot again, I think. No, 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 no. Well, it's gonna be hard to hit the head when it's facing the other way like that, but... Well, that didn't work. And, uh... Do you... you can't headbutt my ankles or my knees. Got it. I'm showing minor damage. Commander. Where are you? There you are. Ah, I need to turn around, so let's do that. And then shh. Oh never mind. Oh well that's embarrassing. Um uh, I can't hit anything now. Because there is a molehill in the way. Race then. I could have prevented that by when moving whole hovering over the enemy to see whether I could actually see it. Don't make me feel sorry for him. Don't make me don't don't show me how he's limping. Good to go. Moving to position. Bye. I was about to say that was a fail, but then he actually did die. Uh, that's you. What if I just... Um, DFA. Ooh, DFA. Can I do that? If I do this and that... No, no, no. It doesn't do anything. No, jump. And then... Jump attack using piloting skill to hit ev ignores evasive, hit removes guarded, deals significant damage and stability damage, attacker incurs leg damage and stability damage. I'm fine. And I'm guessing this is how you do a death from above, or DFA. Good way to, sta to end it all. Dropship inbound for landing. We're going to get in and out quick, you hope? Your turn. Uh, I'm, I want to see how I'm doing. I still have armor. It's good. It's fine. That's us. And I'm guessing we're getting friendly uh, friends from over here. So let's move. I can't move them at the same time. Why? On my way. Got it. Oh, I need to. I don't want to attack it. Uh, no, not you. Um. I can go in here and do what I need to do. Whatever that is. Coordinates received. Actually, do I have to occupy the depot? Does it mean everyone has to be in the area? Roger. Yes. The depot is ours, Commander. Where did it pull out pull you out of here? What really? I suspect the manager will be very pleased with this haul. Mission successful. All right, all right, I can deal with that. That's fine. I expected uh, more, but 
fine, sure. I mean, the, it is the early game, I suppose, but I expect that the last mission had a part two, so to speak, so, yeah. Um, capture the Ordnance Depot. That's all fine. Your performance, uh, performance was exemplary, Commander. I'll ensure that the Magistracy High Command hears about your skills. Will you, though? It feels like probably not. And we got some money, some reputation, morale is steady. I don't think this is a plus we just got from winning. Local pirates hates us. That's fine. Pirates in your area hate you. Anyway, uh, 500, 500, 500. Yes, kills. Black. I killed a lot. That's nice. That last kill felt good, though. Especially good. And you got an injury, didn't you? Healing. Mech warriors injured in battle are confined to the med bay to recover. The severity of their injuries and their guts skill determine the time it takes until they're healed. To inform, increase, not inform, increase the rate at which your mech warrior heals, upgrade your dropship with additional med bays. And injured uh, for 27 days. Upgrade this, okay. Now, select one item. Um, commando, or a javelin, or a locust, and these are parts. You have one, and you need three parts to make a mech, maybe? Salvage agreement, one, total five. So basically, I say here, the thing I absolutely do want is probably just a javelin part then. And then we'll get five other things. And it could be just a Laramamo, jump yets, and then maybe the locust part. Or it could be all of these parts, and also these two. That would be nice. Um, value a mil... Yes, thank you. Confirm. And yeah, we did not get the locust part, which is fine. But we did get two javelin parts then it says zero out of three. Oh, but then again this commando part also says zero out of three so mm, probably it's fine yeah honestly that's a much better system than mech 5 as well but then again yeah Yes, hello, out of action, good. Financial report in 18 days, and uh, timeline is paused. Now, what was that about being able to upgrade contracts? Base, no. Barracks, mech warriors, mid bay is where? Customized company, no, that wouldn't be it. Let's see, what do you have to say? Always good to see you at Ops. Jay, can I do something for you? Mm, I want to know more about our debt situation. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, sure, that's fair. And I'm glad you're taking an interest. And the bank is taking an interest too. Uh, in the other sense of the word. I've got time to get into the nuts and bolts um, of it if you do. What do you want to know? Remind me why we took out so many loans in the first place. Who are we in debt to exactly? That's enough. I would just want to know the exact sum of money at this current moment in time. But uh, let's remind me. How much time have you got? I mean, we've been hit with a thousand expenses since we were forced to flee Kor uh, Koromodir. That's how you pronounced it, I believe. Um, but I guess uh, you're mostly interested in the big ticket items. Well, first and foremost, there's the Leopard. We still owe a lot of money on this ship, and losing her isn't an option. 
Then you've got all the assorted fallout from our impromptu trip across the frontier, jump ship passage, docking fees, miscellaneous travel expenses, all paid for on credit, as if we had any choice. There's more that I could get into, the loan we took out uh, to set up, Markham's family, etc, etc. Markham's fam... Markham? I don't think I've heard that name before here. Uh, but that'd be gilding the lily at this point. The fact is, we're in a lot of trouble with a lot of lenders. But hey, we're mercenaries. We live for trouble. Not that kind. Not that kind. Let's check for names. Um, there's the com big commercial bank in Lyrton. Uh, they're the ones that own the lease on the ship. Then there's the Indri Consortium. They've got the people everywhere, but they're based somewhere in Marik space. We borrowed from one of their associates to make the jump away from Cormadir on the day of the coup. Finally, we got the uh, Lock on Lending. They're a frontier outfit from Huster, and they're about as crooked as they come. Okay, good. I don't want to know more then. Um. Yeah. You know where to find me. No. What do you have to say? How can I help, Commander? Uh, hey, Commander. Something I can do for you? Does the decision we made about the uncertified contract satisfy your concerns? I can guess that are probably not. I mean, unless she's thinking we don't have a choice. Yeah, I recognize that look. My concerns won't be satisfied until our creditors have been paid, and yeah, I still want to know the exact number. You got some question about navigation? I'm collecting stories about the crew. No. I'll be here if you need me. This also looks like something I can click. Oh, okay, hold on. Can I? No, I cannot. Travel contract available. Ukraine. These are really finicky. LOA. Ukraine. Bellerophon, Detroit. Was it over here? Cormodier, there you are. Yeah, restricted until debt pay. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so that's interesting. Um, I'm not entirely sure where on in the inner sphere or... Well, it's the periphery, so it's outside the inner sphere, but I'm not sure where that would be. Wonder if you can travel further into the inner sphere. Don't know yet. Mech Bay. Ah, yes, yes, we do need to repair a little bit, don't we? And, uh. What's you? Scrap? No, no, no. Also, components. Yes. Weapons storage. We have one javelin part and one commando part. Oh, no, no, no. I think I see how it works now, maybe. Uh, you get five parts, and one of those five parts you get to decide on your own. So basically, you get to choose one point and then get four others. That's... Mm, I'm gonna guess that's what that means. And anyway... Um, Blackjack, you were a little bit damaged because I used... Yes. Did you repair... Hold up. Repair all. Did you not take any actual damage? 55 on everything. No task scheduled. Cancel. 35, 35, 35, 35, 55, 55, 55, 55, 16, 77. Oh, all right, fine. You did not. Yeah. How do I leave? Ah, there. 
Did you just automatically repair everyone? Ninety out of ninety. I'm I'm looking at this number here. Odd. Yeah, no. Uh, all right, well, I'm not gonna look a gift horse or mech in the um, mouth like that, so good. All our mechs are nice, good, yes. But yeah, so next up is going to Detroit, apparently, and, and hope uh, uh, Glitch makes it out before then, maybe? And with all of that said and done, ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in betweens, I've been Computer, this has been Battletech, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.